so hello viewers so welcome to another blog and today's topic is hypertension today in this lecture i'll be covering all these points so what is blood pressure what is hypertension what is primary hypertension what are the risk factors for primary hypertension what is hypertensive crisis what is hypertensive emergency what is secondary hypertension what are the symptoms of hypertension and uh, a bit about the treatments so i'll be covering all these points today in this lecture so how do we denote ten, uh, blood pressure that is we denote blood pressure as 120 suppose uh, there is a normal blood pressure that is 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury that means the number that is above that is systolic hypertension uh, systolic uh, blood pressure that means the pressure of blood how do we uh, denote blood pressure blood pressure is denoted as 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury this is the normal blood pressure here 120 is the systolic blood pressure that means the blood pressure that is present during contraction of heart and the uh, below the number 80 that is the diastolic blood pressures that means the pressure of blood during relaxation of the heart so this is normal normal blood pressure now when do we call hypertension so the normal blood pressure that is the systolic blood pressure is less than 120 and the diastolic blood pressure that is less than 80 so it will be called as normal now when we call elevated blood pressure when the systolic blood pressure is within 120 to 129 millimeter of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure is less than 80 millimeter of mercury then then we call it elevated blood pressure now what is stage 1 hypertension when the systolic blood pressure is in between 130 to 139 millimeter of mercury and uh, the diastolic blood pressure that is 80 to 89 millimeter of mercury then it is stage 1 hypertension and when this is systolic blood pressure that is more than equals to 140 millimeter of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure that is more than equals to 90 millimeter of mercury then we call it as a stage 2 hypertension now uh, it is commonly seen that when the systolic blood pressure is above normal then usually it is found that the diastolic blood pressure is also normal but this is not the rule not every time we find this type of finding sometimes isolated the, there may be isolated systolic hypertension or there may be isolated diastolic hypertension also now what is primary hypertension primary hypertension uh, uh, is is such a condition when there is no obvious cause behind hypertension there is no specific identified cause behind hypertension then that time that kind of hypertension is known as primary hypertension and uh, what is secondary hypertension secondary hypertension is seen usually in 10 percent of the hypertension cases and this type of hypertension is associated with some secondary causes that means the hypertension is due to some other causes and those other causes can be identified then it is known as the secondary hypertension now i'll talk about the risk factors for hypertension now what are the risk factors the first is old age as a person gradually ages his the, the elastic nature of his or her uh, the blood vessels they are gradually decreased so there is increased chance of hypertension so one risk factor is age the next risk factor that is obesity usually it is seen that that obese people tend to have more uh, blood pressure so it is another uh, risk factor next is high salt intake salt intake is found to be associated with 
uh, hypertension so those who are taking uh, excess amount of salts they are at risk of developing hypertension next uh, a risk factor that is sedentary lifestyle sedentary lifestyle those uh, who stays most of the time of the day in the office work uh, and there is less physical activity then there is more chances of development of hypertension in future now let's talk about the causes of secondary hypertension what are the causes of secondary hypertension there is another organ within our abdomen there is a pair of organ within our abdomen that is concerned with uh, blood pressure maintenance electrolyte maintenance along with uh, a lot of other functions as that is kidney kidney is important in regulation of blood pressure as well as now when there is a less blood flow to the kidney then kidney secrete a compound that is known as renin and this renin is important in uh, retaining fluid within our body and that's that cause there is that causes rise of blood pressure so if there is a low blood flow to the kidney due to any cause then kidney will secrete renin and renin will cause hypertension now atherosclerosis is another condition that can lead to development of hypertension fibromuscular dysplasia is a condition which can lead to development of hypertension adrenal tumor secreting aldosterone aldosterone hormone so if there is any al, uh, adrenal tumor secreting more amount of aldosterone and that can also lead to accumulation of fluid within the vascular compartment and that can lead to uh, development of hypertension so these are the common causes of secondary hypertension now what is hypertensive crisis what is hypertensive crisis that means there is there is systolic blood pressure of more than equals to 180 millimeter of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure that is more than equals to 120 millimeter of mercury so that that situation is known as hypertensive crisis now there are two terms in uh, in hypertensive crisis the first one that is hypertensive urgency and another one that is hypertensive emergency so what is hypertensive urgency there is systolic blood pressure of more than 180 diastolic blood pressure of more than 120 but there are no serious organ damage or end organ damage so if there is no end organ damage then it is known as hypertensive urgency and if there is presence of end organ damage then that case is known as hypertensive emergency now let's talk about the symptoms of hypertension most of the times most of the times uh, there are no symptoms just we get hypertension on routine checkup on routine checkup we are measuring bp of some person due to some other causes and we find that that person is hypertensive so most of the times there are no symptoms next it can be it can be uh, due to some secondary causes as i have said that secondary hypertension is seen in 10 percent of the cases so if the hypertension is secondary to some other causes then there may be some symptoms of the that causes which uh, which is behind development of hypertension in hypertensive emergency there are some cns symptoms like confusion also if there is any end organ damage there may be chest pain drowsiness breathlessness this this of uh, these are some of the symptoms of hypertensive emergency now regarding treatment i think we i have to make another separate log about the treatment options of hypertension but in short we can say there are some lifestyle uh, the lifestyle changes and some antihypertensive medications in the lifestyle changes we can modify our diet we can exercise and we can uh, enroll ourselves in income in some uh, uh, stress reduction program that can also help in reducing hypertension we can have if uh, uh, by applying all this uh, the pressure is not controlled then we can move to the anti-hypertensive medications uh, please share your thoughts 
share your opinion how do you like this video if there is anything that i can improve please comment me and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to give us a like if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe because in this channel i try to explain all the health related topics in a simplified way so thank you for watching and take care